Moving Average Ribbons. In this video, you will learn moving average ribbon signals, such as bullish and bearish reversals, the knot entry, the bullish and bearish alignment entry, and the waterfall exit. The moving average ribbon is constructed by combining 10 moving averages, capturing a variety of different time cycles. A popular combination is to use five short-term averages, the 4, 7, 11, 14, and 17 period moving averages, and another five long-term averages, the 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 period moving averages. The short-term averages group represents short-term traders or speculators' view of the market. The long-term averages group represents long-term traders or investors' view of the market. A strong bullish reversal signal is given when the following conditions are met. Condition 1. All short-term moving averages cross from below to above all long-term moving averages. Condition 2. Short-term moving averages are positively aligned, that is, the 4-period average is above the 7th, and the 7th above the 11th, and the 11th above the 14th, and so on. Condition 3. The moving averages are all near each other, forming a narrow ribbon. The entry is activated above the high of the candle that generated the signal, and a stop loss can be placed below the moving average ribbon. A strong bearish reversal signal is given when the following conditions are met. Condition 1. All short-term moving averages cross from above to below all long-term moving averages. Condition 2. Short-term moving averages are negatively aligned, that is, the 4-period average is below the 7th, and the 7th below the 11th, and the 11th below the 14th, and so on. Condition 3. The moving averages are all near each other, forming a narrow ribbon. The entry is activated below the low of the candle that generated the signal, and a stop loss can be placed above the moving average ribbon. A weak bullish reversal signal is given when the following conditions are met. Condition 1. All short-term moving averages cross from below to above all long-term moving averages. Condition 2. Short-term moving averages are positively aligned, that is, the 4-period average is above the 7th, and the 7th above the 11th, and the 11th above the 14th, and so on. Condition 3. The moving averages are far from each other, forming a wide ribbon giving a weak signal. The entry is activated above the high of the candle that generated the signal, and a stop loss can be placed below the moving average ribbon. A weak bearish reversal signal is given when the following conditions are met. Condition 1. All short-term moving averages cross from above to below all long-term moving averages. Condition 2. Short-term moving averages are negatively aligned, that is, the 4-period average is below the 7th, and the 7th below the 11th, and the 11th below the 14th, and so on. Condition 3. The moving averages are far from each other, forming a wide ribbon giving a weak signal. The entry is activated below the low of the candle that generated the signal, and a stop loss can be placed above the moving average ribbon. A knot entry signal is given when the following signals are met. Condition 1. The extreme consolidation of all 10 moving averages in one particular area. Condition 2. A sideways consolidation. After a knot in the ribbon, a volatile breakout is expected. However, the direction is not known, so traders straddle the market by placing orders on both sides. A buy order is placed above the consolidation area with a relative stop loss order below it and a sell order is placed below the consolidation area with a relative stop loss order above it. Although the breakout can occur in any direction, some traders use the short-term moving average to try and speculate on the most probable breakout direction. A bullish alignment signal is given when the following conditions are met. Condition 1. All short-term moving averages are above all long-term moving averages. Condition 2. All short-term moving averages are positively aligned, that is, the 4-period goes back above the 7th, and the 7th above the 11th, and the 11th above the 14th, and so on. Condition 3. The moving averages are all near each other, forming a narrow ribbon. The entry is activated above the high of the candle that generated the signal, and a stop loss can be placed below the moving average ribbon. A bearish alignment signal is given when the following conditions are met. Condition 1. All short-term moving averages cross are below all low-term moving averages. Condition 2. 
all short-term moving averages are negatively aligned. That is, the four period goes back below the seventh, and the seventh below the eleventh, and the eleventh below the fourteenth, and so on. Condition three. The moving averages are all near each other, forming a narrow ribbon. The entry is activated below the low of the candle that generated the signal, and a stop loss can be placed above the moving average ribbon. A bullish waterfall exit is given when the following conditions are met. Condition 1. All short-term moving averages are above all long-term averages. Condition 2. All short-term moving averages are positively aligned. Condition 3. The 4-period moving average crosses below the 7 and 11-period moving averages. The exit is activated below the low of the candle that generated the signal. A bearish waterfall exit is given when the following conditions are met. Condition 1. All short-term moving averages are below all long-term averages. Condition 2. All short-term moving averages are negatively aligned. Condition 3. The 4-period moving average crosses above the 7 and the 11-period moving averages. The exit is activated below the low of the candle that generated the signal. When a signal is identified, a circle or arrow will outline the signal along with a description in the monitor panel. Clicking on the envelope on the left side opens an additional panel with further information about the trading signal, in this case, a knot signaling a possible breakout from the sideways consolidation. In the case of a knot signal, signaling a possible breakout in either direction, a buy entry order can be placed above the consolidation area and a sell entry order placed below the consolidation area. When the long entry is activated, once the price goes above the high of the sideways pattern, the long entry is activated with a stop loss below the consolidation area. Entry of the long trade implies a cancellation of the short order. When a bullish reversal is identified, a green arrow appears below the candle giving the signal. More information about the signal can be found in the monitor panel by clicking the envelope on the left side of the panel. A weak bullish reversal suggests to new long positions and an exit to any remaining short positions. An entry could be placed above the high of the candle with a protective stop loss below the moving average ribbon. As the market continues higher and activates the previous entry, a new bullish alignment signal is identified. A bullish alignment signal to a continuation of the upwards move with further information regarding the signal available in the monitor panel. When a new bullish alignment signal is generated, an entry can be placed above the high of the candle with a protective stop loss placed below the moving average ribbon. The new bullish trend is assumed active as long as price remains above the long-term moving average group. A strong corrective move after a bullish alignment can trigger a bullish waterfall exit identified with a red arrow. A waterfall exit signals the end of the bullish wave and suggests to an exit of any remaining long positions. An exit to any remaining long positions could be executed below the low of the candle generating the signal. In a downwards move, a bearish alignment will be identified with a red arrow. Clicking on the envelope in the monitor panel brings up more information regarding the signal. A bearish alignment suggests to new short positions and an exit to any remaining long positions. An entry could be placed below the low of the candle with a protective stop above the moving average ribbon. The entry is activated as the market continues lower below the entry level. As the market continues lower, a new bearish alignment signal is generated. An entry level can be placed below the low of the candle with a protective stop loss placed above the moving average ribbon. In a strong trending phase, it is likely for more signals to be generated along the way. A further bearish signal can be used if previous entries were missed. Again, an entry placed below the candle generating the signal with a stop loss above the moving average ribbon. A strong corrective move after a bearish alignment can trigger a bearish waterfall exit with a green arrow. A waterfall exit signals the end of the bearish wave and suggests to an exit of any remaining short positions. An exit can be executed above the high of the candle generating the signal. 
The monitor panel outlines all signals on the enabled timeframes. Timeframes can be activated or deactivated from the top of the monitor panel. More options can be found in the indicator settings. To access the indicator settings, right-click on the chart and select Indicator List. Selecting the Avramis ribbon and going to the Inputs tab. From here, you can adjust the parameters of the indicator. At the top of the list, the language of the indicator can be changed from the drop-down menu. The next option is to activate the scanner mode, which is available in the advanced version of the tool. Next, the time frame selected in the monitor panel can be adjusted. All six time frames that appear on the monitor panel can be adjusted to show the chosen time frame. Through the drop-down menu, you can select any time frame to show in the monitor panel. Furthermore, the dimensions of the monitor panel can be adjusted. From this option, the height and width of the panel can be changed along with the width of each column. Indicator depth refers to the number of candles that the indicator is applied to. With the input of 150, the ribbon indicator will be visible across the last 150 candles. Signal duration refers to how many candles the signal arrow will continue to show after the signal has been generated. An input of two implies that two candles after the appearance of the signal, the circle or arrow will be removed from the chart. Scrolling further down through the settings, the calculation type for the moving averages can be chosen with the options of simple, exponential, smoothed, and linear weighted moving average. The periods and color of each moving average can be adjusted accordingly for each selecting a bullish and a bearish color for the moving average. Through Type of Ribbon Graph, the visualization of the ribbon lines can be adjusted through the options of the drop-down menu. Narrow percentage affects the sensitivity of the indicator in a defining wide or narrow ribbon which can affect the strength of the signal. The most interesting thing, however, that you can do in the indicator settings is to enable the scanner mode at the top of the list. When the scanner mode is enabled, the indicator will scan all securities that are showing in the market watch window on the left and identify all the active signals across the enabled timeframes. Clicking on the envelope next to any of the signals switches the chart to the time frame of the signal, with further information available in the monitor panel. For faster scanning times, use less securities in the market watch window. In our next video, we will talk about the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo indicator. Thank you for watching.